Hi, I'm David Ricardo. I want to tell you about how easy it is to manage your farm machinery stock list on the app Farm Service Manager. So let's jump right in. Uh, in this first video, we're going to look at how to add a machine. This is the dashboard. This uh, initial page comes up with notifications telling us we've got things that need to be serviced. We'll go to our stock list and you can see in this case we've got uh, 30 odd bits of machinery. We're going to add a machine. And so we look at our categories and we can see down the bottom here we've got several categories to choose from. We're going to add a tractor today. And the name of this, let's just say we're talking about my my Johnny uh, it's a 8430 uh, we'll just make up a serial number for now registration uh, no number plates we can set a notification for, regi for registration if we need to um, we'll turn that off for now um, last service date we'll just say uh, we'll go back to say uh, the 1st of February and done and at that stage uh, we had uh, 2500 hours on the clock service interval well we service it every 250 hours and we're going to set now yeah, we're going to leave that on we could in this case use uh, a time frame of say six months uh, or uh, we can notify based on this service interval uh, we can notify 10 or 20 hours out from the next service interval and so we'll just put in there <laughs> we'll put in there 10 hours 10 hours. We could make that a date, um, but we'll stick with the time frame. Um, share this machine, we can do that. We can add comments about this machine. Um, perhaps uh, let's add a photo from the photo library. And we'll go to 8430. And there it is. There it is. It's, uh, it's up there and done. So, we now have 32 machines in the stock list. And if we're looking for that exact tractor, here we are. Um, and so, as we say, there's a serial number. We've got a hour reading on the tractor. We're going to run straight in and service this machine. And so, we've put a reading in there now. Let's just say we're 250K, uh, 250 hours down the track. And now we're looking at 2750 hours. And you'll notice that we've got a series of service items here and plenty of icons. If you're looking at how confusing this might be, it's simply uh, inspect, replace, clean, lube, and adjust. And those uh, five action icons uh, go with every uh, service item. And so engine oil, engine oil filter, hydraulic oil, and so on. Um, we can change all those things. Every service has a list of service items, and this could be a list as long as your arm, but ultimately we'll just go up here to the plus and we'll add one. And we'll say air cleaner. And save. And uh, all of these things can be edited. It can be turned on and off. Um, we're going to go ahead and run this service. And so, looking at our items list here, we inspected the engine oil and we replaced it. We did the same with the oil filter. In fact, we can add a parts record here to say, uh, okay, JD part number for uh, uh, and uh, number used. Let's just say we used uh, two, two oil filters. Uh, we might have some comments there about the costs or uh, superseded part numbers or whatever. We can add a photo if we like, but we will upload that part. Okay. 
Then we go back to parts and of course we can see here that our parts record has been uh, attached to that oil filter. Next time we do a service on this, that part number will show up against that oil filter. We'll continue on with recording our service. We inspected the hydraulic oil, uh, we inspected and replaced the fuel filter. We could put a part in there as well. We looked at the coolant, we inspected and we cleaned the radiator. And we did the same with the air cleaner, or maybe we replaced the air cleaner. Um, and of course we save our service. We could have some notes in there about how long it took. Let's uh, uh, service time uh, two hours and save it. So there we are, there's our service. If you want to have a look at that service, we can look at the summary here to see what happened. Uh, this of course all goes to this service, adds to the next service, adds to the next service, which ends up as uh, a, a valuable document when the time comes to turn this tractor over. We'll go up here to the uh, PDF document and we'll just export the service history on this tractor. We could look at a particular time frame. Okay, and it's been sent. See also here details of the last service. Uh, next service at 3,000 hours. We'll just go straight to that and have a look at that PDF document. And so, uh, bring this out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, this document could be uh, pages long. Um, yeah. So it's detailing uh, what we did in the service and how, what sort of parts we used. Um, we could have a lot more details here in comments um, and, and notes. So, uh, other things, if we just go back to uh, uh, this inner machine menu, we can delete the item. Uh, we can actually delete any bit of machinery. We can reset our notification for uh, six, 12 months, whatever we like, or we could just turn notifications off from that point. Uh, we can add uh, an item in the to-do list, which uh, is handy for the next time the tractor comes down to the workshop, we're gonna do this, this, and this. And we can document those while we're in the tractor or while we're little things that uh, might all add up to a list of, of things to look at down the track. Um, other items, the daily inspections, an important one. We've got these uh, certain um, uh, items that uh, the operator will walk around the machine in the morning, kick the tires, check the oil. Uh, so before starting the machine, you know, tick off these things. Uh, you know, might be looking for any leaks, uh, the general condition. Uh, when starting the machine, um, we might comment on 50% uh, fuel. Um, so we might uh, certainly put in a reading, um, 27.55 hours. Uh, we might look at some daily maintenance if uh, there's some notes about we greased the plough or we did whatever. Uh, we can report problems by either capturing an issue and taking a photo or, uh, and adding a note. Um, and of course we can email it to uh, the relevant people. We can email it to uh, uh, anyone on the list, um, the, the mechanic, the owner, or whoever, the foreman. And we submit that. And so uh, that turns out uh, in someone's email as a PDF document uh, to say that that vehicle was checked this morning. Uh, also, there's a GPS uh, map attached to that. Um, so that's, uh, that's our stock list on our dashboard. Um, other features here uh, through the menu, and I just, uh, that might not have been obvious, but I just tapped on this 
menu to bring that up. Uh, we have uh, our dashboard, we have the service history, so that the last service history can be looked at in order which it was done. Um, our parts, you know, we could look at any part that you've had attached to any vehicle, and ultimately you'll have, uh, you, know, you could have hundreds of parts attached to any machine. Um, daily inspection, we've covered that. My account gives you access to change a bunch of stuff uh, and add new operators. Uh, feedback, um, yeah, the rest is self explanatory. So, give it a go uh, by um, uh, giving uh, the demo a go. Uh, you'll access that from the front page here. Uh, by hitting the Try This app and that'll sign in with the demo username and password and of course you can jump in, add some equipment, run a service, have a play with it and uh, give it a go. Thanks for watching.